Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel Learn with Gigs. Today, I will be discussing with you all four scenario based questions based on DAX. But before that, I would recommend you all to see the first five parts because it will help you to crack the interview for Power BI developer position. I would provide the link in the description box too. So go and check out the video. Let's start the video without wasting any time. This is the first question. Okay. How will you calculate the last seven days or last n days sales from the selected date? So how to answer this? This is a very frequently asked question in many of the interviews. So how to answer this? And they basically focus on how or which functions you will use or which tax functions you will use to incorporate or implement this uh, scenario. So for that, if you can only provide them that we can use dates in period and calculate function to achieve this, they will be fine with that too. But if they want to, if, if they want you to write that also in the chat or somewhere else in the notepad, then you, uh, you should be able to write it also. So how to answer this? So last for this last seven days sales, we will make use of calculate function and dates in period function. So as you can see dates in period function, the syntax is date, start date, number of intervals and interval. So similarly, we have defined dates in period, the date, start date, number of intervals and interval. So since it is talking about the day level, so we are using interval as day and since we are talking about seven days so we have used minus seven and from the selected date so we have used maximum of calendar date so in this way you can answer this question that is calculate the sum of revenue dates in period calendar date maximum of calendar date minus seven and the interval is day so in this way you can answer this question let's move to the second question how will you calculate the rolling 12 month sales excluding the current month? Okay, so how to answer this question? Whenever you have this kind of question where you have a range of dates that is the start date and end date. So for all those questions you have to use dates between function. So what is the syntax of dates between function? As you can see here, it takes date as the first argument, then the starting date and then the ending date. Okay, so similarly we have implemented in the tax code. So calculate the sum of revenue dates between the date, the start date and the end date. Okay. Now, so let's understand how we have calculated the start date and the ending date. For the starting date, as you can see, I have used next day, last date and date add functions. So what date add will do the innermost function, it will take or move us 13 months back. Then last date will give us the last date of the 13th month. And the next day will give you the next day means the starting date of the 12th month. So in this way we have gone to the starting day or the starting date. Now how we have calculated the ending date. So for that we have made use of last date and date add tax function. Since we have to exclude the current month. So what we have done through date add that we have excluded it by configuring by configuring minus one in its argument. And then what last date date will do. It will give you the last date of the last month. So in this way. The starting date and the ending date we can configure and we can calculate the ruling 12 month sales. Let's move to the next question that is the third question. Can you calculate year to date sales in a direct query report? If yes, how? So as we all know in a direct query report, we can't make use of time intelligence functions because in import mode reports, we can directly use total YTD, total MTD or total QTD functions and calculate these results. But if we have to do the same thing in a direct query report, then it becomes a problem. So for that, how we will calculate it? So, so how to answer year to date sales? So for that, we can make use of filter and max DAX functions. So since as you can see, filter takes first argument as table and the second argument as filter. So for the first argument as table, we have made use of calendar table. And for the filter, we have provided two, two conditions. First one is the calendar should be calendar year should be maximum of calendar year and the calendar date should be maximum of calendar date. So suppose you have a year slicer and a month slicer. And if you chose 2021 on the year slicer and September on the month slicer. So what this will this section year section, this will give you the year 2021 as the year and this 
filter will give you the maximum date of September that is 7th of September. So it will calculate the total sale of 2021 from 1st of January to 7th of September 2021. So in this way you can answer this question. Let's move to the fourth question that is the last question. How can you calculate the month to date sales in a direct query report? If yes, how? So how to answer month to date sales? So again we will be using the same two functions filter and max function but in the filter section we will have we will add one more filter that will be for month. So as you can see here first condition will be year should be maximum of calendar year. Second will be month month should be maximum of calendar month and the date should be less than equal to maximum of calendar date. So in this way you can answer this month to date sales. Similarly you can answer if they asked what how you, how you will calculate the quarter to date sales. So thank you guys for watching the complete video. I had to discuss these four scenario based questions which are being frequently asked in many companies. I hope you are learning a lot through my videos. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't as whenever I am uploading a new video you will be notified. The upcoming video will be focused on scenario based questions only. So thank you and stay tuned.